welcome to church and thank you for joining us today hallelujah today is friday the 18th of december the year 2020 and the word for today says grace multiplied grace multiplied hallelujah if you like to receive a hard copy of the supernatural word why don't you lift up your hands so that one of the ashes can get to you at the earliest opportunity. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The word for today is taken from the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 2. The book of 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 2. And the Bible says, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be Jesus. Our father, Pastor Dennis, then simplifies this for us, saying, From our opening scripture, you can understand that the way to have grace and peace multiplied in your life is through the knowledge. In Greek, it's epignosis of God and of Jesus our Lord. When someone desperately asks for prayers because they lack peace in their life, your prayers might not work because the word is clear as to how to enjoy greater peace in your life. It's through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. A man of God, Pastor Dennis, continues sharing saying, God wants you to know and live by his word because the more you know him, the more grace and peace you stand to enjoy in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Moreover, peace here isn't just referring to ordinary peace of being quiet or mere solitude. The Greek word for peace is airene, which is akin to the Hebrew word shalom, which means peace with rest and prosperity put together. In other words, through the knowledge of God, you are at home with prosperity. Everything about your life works out right. You are not fretful or agitated over anything. Irrespective of what happens, you are unperturbed because you are in charge. Hallelujah. Blessed be Jesus. Our Father Pastor Dennis concludes the word for today saying, as you learn more about Jesus and meditate on his word, as you learn about the Father through fellowship, more revelations will come to you. Notice the Bible doesn't say, grace and peace shall be added unto you, but that they'll be multiplied unto you in your life. It's possible to keep heaping up grace and peace in increasing measure. John chapter 1 verse 16 says of his fullness have we all received grace heaped upon grace. So, enjoy grace and peace in your life by increasing your knowledge of him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's go on to our meditation scriptures for today. And the first one is from the book of Acts chapter 20 verse 32. The book of Acts chapter 20 verse 32 and the Bible says, So now brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. Hallelujah. A second meditation scripture is from the book of Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3. The book of Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 and the Bible says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Hallelujah. As part of our one year Bible reading plan, today we are reading the book of Ezekiel chapters 38 through 39 and Revelation chapter 10. Hallelujah. Let's proceed to our prophetic declaration for today. And I request that you lift up your hands and say these words in power. Say, Dear Father, I thank you for the guidance 
and wisdom received in your word. As I open my spirit to your word today, grace and peace are multiplied in my life. My heart is garrisoned with divine wisdom and fortified to prevail over circumstances. I transcend every pressure and anxiety because I have peace with prosperity. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's go on and meditate on these words by speaking in other tongues. Let's bless the name of the Lord for the word for today. Ligu shaketopaya jante kalabara diga shanto kalea lebredo sate koteba la kamagado sakula pradia jenemeno sonde kadiga la keto kaya lika telo baradiga bragelo sante kula prale in Jesus name shout amen.